Hey guys, be sure to have Team Bad Yugi's here, and I have another January 14 deck profile for you. This time we're, we're talking about Harpies. Now this list is actually the one that won the YCS in Sao Paulo, if I remember. Um, the player being Carlos Enrique de Ariajo Freitas. I cannot say the name, I apologize. I'm ignorant and terrible. Anyways, but hey sir, I love your list. I think it's the best list. I think you played it right. With three Chandler, three Queen... Three Harpy Lady 1, and only 2 Dancer. I don't like 3 Dancer in this list, so I'm really happy that's what you played. I agree with you entirely. Thank you for not sucking at the card game. One of the terrible cards. Uh, and 2 card card D. No Tempest, um, no Veilers, even though I think the Veiler is very good with card card. Um, no Veilers in this list. We have 3 Hobans for spells. Three dualities to just get the, the opening combo set up right because we need to be resolving Hysteric Sign as much as possible. Speaking of, one Egotist with three Hysteric Sign. Best card in the deck. That's why it, um, that's why the deck was as relevant as it was. Because it was definitely a tier two deck in this format. But that's what I love about this format is that it was such a balanced format that even a tier two deck could win a YCS. Like that, that's my favorite stuff right there. Of course, Triple Hunting Ground. It's very nice when um, you have searchable MST that can resolve again and again and again. But for the traps, Triple Party, also arguably the best card in the deck. And then we have Double Fiendish, Double Ick Attack. Then we have Bottomless, Torrential, and Warning. And then once again for consistency, three Reckless Greed. Moving on to the extra deck. Only one Phantasmal Dragon. You really don't need to resolve more than one of these for game. Rank 7s, Master of Blades, Draco Sack, and Big Eye. We have Ouroboros, Queen Dragon Jin to get back the Pet Dragon. 101, Zero Fine, Giant Hand. He didn't play at the time, but I forget what I cut, but this is one of the decks that can make this so easy without Soul Charge, so of course we're playing it. Diamond Direwolf. Exiton. Don't ask me why this deck has a secret rare Exiton. Instead of one of the poopy ultras. No one ever plays this deck. It's really kind of sad. Because I love this deck so much. Dweller, Cowboy, and two Chidori. Of course, to round it off. Like, this is one of my favorite decks to play. It's just such a cool deck. And it's so annoying to deal with. It has some of the craziest plays. But admittedly, having to spend one card usually to make any sort of advantage whatsoever, you're so prone to interruption. It really sucks. Like, if you play well, you can play around it to try to capitalize off of, it as, off of it as much as possible, knowing when to make your plays. But um, most people just don't, they're not ready to play that. They're not equipped for it. They don't think, uh, they just don't think that far ahead. They don't know the deck well enough. But that's what it is, man. Um, this Vishido, Team Bad Yugi's. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me about maybe one of your favorite rogue strategies from this format that was able to take up. Maybe you're maybe you're like that guy who uh, played Dark Worlds. You disgusting, disgusting person. Um, make sure to check this, uh, the description box. Check for any other resources, other duels, decks, profiles, other formats. Um, resolve Hysteric Party for game.